Hello, guys. Thank you, Micah. Thank you, Micah. <clears throat> well, been a lot going on this week, fellas. Um, finished up level 80 there, and I started doing the the mastering missions. So the first one we tackled this week was the the black crappy on a tube jig, number one, number one hook jig, and those tubes. And we got we got four of them in the game, and that's probably the first time I've I've ever used a tube bait in Fishing Planet. There we go. Yeah. We can't hear you. I know. Well, I I had her. I had my mic muted while I was playing around here while the music was going on. I knew I'd forget to turn it back on. That's just me. That's Buck. That's what I do. You guys should expect that every week that something's going to be wrong. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, that's probably the first time I pulled out one of them two baits in Fishing Planet and used them. Uh, well, I don't normally open the Discord up on this one uh, for this Sapphire show. Uh when we, when we slide over for fishing with Buck, I open the Discord server up. Um, this one here, I kind of kind of stay with the YouTube thing um, right now. So, like I said, the YouTube, uh, the YouTube, the tube bait that I use, um, there's, a, there's only four of them. They're all two inches, and they're just different colors in them. And you get the four different colors, the pumpkin seed, and, well, actually, I use the, I, you get one from the uh, the Fourth of July mission, so I I was using that a lot. I actually got most of most of my crappy on that one, uh, the fire uh, the fireworks tube, um, and I was using an Omni stick. You know my Omni float over there. That's a little seven and a half pounder. That's that's what I was using for all these guys, and we snagged them up pretty good over there. But we're going to get into the next mission, and um. These two baits, they work real well in real life with a Carolina or a Texas rig. You put a little slip sinker on there, bullet bullet sinker on the front of that tube, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a, an instructional bit on that because I I come across the guy and I was re talking to him about how he was rigging his tube uh, baits up. And a lot of guys run the, j the hook right through the middle of the tube and they bring it up there and, and you basically you got that ball weight of your jig head sitting out there. And I had a guy show me to shove that damn ball all the way through that and get the ball of the jig inside of the tube. I'll show you how to do that. I'm, I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to try it this year. It's almost time. I mean, first, first day of trout was yesterday, so all my buddies... All my buddies are out there with hard hats on because there's treble hooks flying everywhere here in Pennsylvania. You can't even get a spot on a lake. I mean, they're elbow to elbow around the entire lakes around here. I, I swear, you've got to have a hard hat on or you're going to get hooked up. <laughs> I don't even go out first day of trout. I stay away from it. However, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little video on that. And I'm going to try that that hook up this year on on the tube and see how it goes so let's get into the, the next one that we're the next mission that we're going to hit and um it's a uh well, let's jump over there and take a look where's my where's my mouse at come here buddy there he is there we go let's go over let me Oh, well, that wasn't any good there. So before we go live, I got to get all that messed up. All right, we'll get that out of there. Now it looks a lot better. Let's go over there. All right, that looks pretty good. So let's go look for these missions. Let's take a look at the, the Pike Hunt 1. Now this is all going to be done with a casting spoon, guys. And we're going to talk about, that's mainly what we're going to talk about probably for the next 20 minutes here is these casting spoons in fishing plan. So this mission here, the Pike Hunt One Casting Spoon, prove your highly expert pike fishing skills by using casting spoons one aught through three aught for catching pike at Mudwater, Naharan, and Emerald. So we gotta go to Mudwater and get a grass pickerel 
over 1.3 pound. The heron, we're going to get the redfin pickerel over a pound and a half. And then an emerald, we're going to go after the chain pickerel, 1.7 pound. And the last one there is catch a pickerel, I guess any one of them on any one of them waterways, 2.8 pounds or better. Now, I'm pretty sure the one point, all the, the first three that we have to catch are going to be trophies. That 2.8, that, that might still be a trophy. I don't know. I have to go back and look at what these, I think it might be a uni. I don't know, but we'll see. I don't know how many uni grass pickles. Micah, you're out there. Uh, do we have uni grass pickles? And the, I know, but I'm pretty sure we have a uni chain pickerel up there at Emerald. And <clears throat> I think we have a uni redfin. I don't know at Naharan. I just left Naharan. I can't. I can't remember if we have them there. Oh, well, here I do have Naharan up here on my on my light guide, fellas. All right, let's see here. Naharan redfin pickerel. Nope. Just a trophy, that's it. <clears throat> oh, well, let's see. You got your light guide up here. There's emerald. What's what do we got? Redfin pickerel and emerald. Trophy and common. Grass pickerel, trophy and common. Hmm. Chain pickerel. Ah, the unique. Is it emerald? I bet that's what we're gonna end up doing. So we'll stay at emerald for the last one. Because he's the only one with a uni. Probably we'll, we'll get up to that 2.8 pound limit. But now let's talk about these casting rods. Now, the casting spoons. Now there's seven di seven different uh, seven seven different weights that we have in Fishing Planet. And out of those seven seven weight classes, there's a total of 22 lures that you can get. All right. Now, six of them you can't use in, in this tournament because of the fact that the hook size is wrong. So the one, any of the one sixth ounce casting spoons you can't use because that has a number two hook on it. Any of the one third ounce you can't use because that has a number one hook on it. And you can't use the, and they only come in the, the holographic red and blue and that would be the ounce and a half one because that has a five odd hook on it. Um, the rest of them the one ounce one you can use that's got a three odd hook on it and so these golden silver ones that you get now those golden silver ones they're available in one six one quarter one third one half and three quarter ounce and you know, it depends on your level. Um, level three will get you the one sixth ounce. Level four will get you the one third ounce. Level seven will get you the quarter ounce. Uh, level 13 gets you the half ounce. And then finally, level 30, you can pick up on the three quarter ounce. And that's all for cash. So in, in the most the most expensive one out there is 280 bucks. All right. <clears throat> now, the red and white daredevil and the uh, yellow and red roam. Casting spoons, they're only available with bait coins, fellas. So at level five, you can get the, the quarter ounce, um, the quarter ounce red and white daredevil. You can get him. Uh, level 10, you can get the half ounce. And then level 18, you can get the three quarter ounce. And those are all gold, so it's five, you know, you're going to spend two gold for the quarter ounce, three gold for the half ounce, and you're going to spend four, four gold for the three quarter ounce. But I would suggest, you now what I did with these guys was every time I had a little extra money, I went and got another one. I went and got another one. So I had all of these guys. So I pretty much have them all. Now, there's a lot of special spoons. Um, a lot of special spoons that you get for... Like the 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 turtle, you can get the turtle spoon, and that was one of the challenges that we had to get when we were facing the monster fish for uh, I guess I think that was uh, Rocky, I think, or Falcon somewhere over there. But you got the turtle spoon, so you can use him because he's a quarter ounce, one odd hook. So you could use that one, and then the mud water uh, monster fish. We got the dendro over there, so you can use him. He's a half ounce with a three odd hook on him. 
Um, the sniper or the spider one, if you picked him up in the Halloween package DLC or during the Halloween event, he's too big because he's got a five watt five watt hook on him. Um, the eagle from the Fourth of July deal, um, you can use him. He's a five eight. Now he's one of the only ones that he's a weird one there. He's only five eight ounce, and he's got a number three odd hook on him. Now the clover from the St. Patty's Day one you got, he's okay. That's a half ounce, two odd. Um, now the gourmet, you can't use him because he's a one ounce five odd five odd on that guy. Now if you manage to, if you have the X series, uh, the glow and. Uh, a holographic one, the yellow and black. Um, you can't use him because he's a one ounce, but he's got a four rock hook on him, and we got to have something in between one and three for this guy, so we can't use him. However, yeah, um, the X series, just a, the simple X series, yellow and black, you can use him. He's a three quarter ounce, and he's got a three odd, three odd hook on that guy. So, if you have any of those specialty spoons, you can use them. You could use them for here too. So we're gonna. I'm gonna take everything that's three quarters and down, I guess, with me. One of each, at least. So we'll see what we'll see what happens with these guys. Oh, the unique. Yeah, but the the unique uh, Louisiana. We we ain't going to Louisiana for this mission. I guess I could possibly go to Louisiana. That'd be fun. <laughs> All right, so that takes care of those guys. If you go over here, let's go over shop lures, spoons. Let's take a look here. Now they're they're pretty cheap in the beginning, and you guys should grab these up when you got the in the beginning when you got them small poles. You know when we're all stuck, you know carrying lightweight stuff. Grab these, grab these one six ones, and when you, as soon as you can level up, you know, grab the grab the one third ones. No problem there. Like I said, it's level five before you can get the, the big daddy here. And he's quarter ounce one. I still is one of my favorite, one of my favorite spoons in real life too. I have a ton of these, all different weights, all different hook sizes. Um, they will catch some fish. I have not fished with this, with the yellow and red Rome's one. Uh, very often at all. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Now, I've caught fish on the gold and silver, though. The gold, silver, and the red and white daredevil. Not a problem. Hey, Hoon, how are you, sir? Glad you could join. One or two of them in Emerald and Louisiana. Yep. So, that's the deal on the Fishing Planet casting spoons. All right. And like I said, guys, go ahead and uh, get yourself hooked up with these guys. As you go through there, one a week, you know, buy one a week, buy two a week, whatever you can afford. But make make sure you get loaded up on these casting spoons because they they do the job. They do the job. The casting spoons, now the, the slop spoons, eh, I haven't had a whole lot of luck. The, the nano spoons work very well. Um, I use them a lot. The medium spoons, very good. They're very good in Fishing Planet here. Of course, you know the narrow spoons. They, they just tear it up here in Fishing Planet. So get yourself a plethora of them. You want to have a lot of narrow spoons, different weights and different classes, so you can throw them on all your poles. But these slop spoons here, I don't know. I don't even know why I bought them all, just because I wanted to have them in the box in case I figured they'd be a lot more killer. But uh, not so much. Not so much. I, I just don't use them a lot. And like I said, then you have your specialty guys, all these special ones. And we just picked up the new trophy one. So I haven't even fished with this guy yet. So I'm probably going to take him along um, on this and see how he performs when we go out there after these, after these pickerel. We'll see how that works. I, I think it ought to do fairly decent because I do very well on the silver one. And this one's got just a little tail on it, I guess. So it, it looks all right. All right, guys, so that's our mission that we're headed after then. And we get a nice trophy frog popper for this guy. And like I was telling everybody in the last video that I did, these here mastering missions, you get some good gear with this stuff. Like when we go next to the pike hunt too, there we get the trophy single spoon and some mono. 
and then we got to go for the trophy bass one we'll head around for bass I'm on my bass on falcon oh please what do i have to equip here equip casting rod with braid and a bass jig oh that's all just a bass jig and braid for that guy all right pretty cool and we get a trophy bass jig for it that's pretty sweet now the bass two one there's the bass boss cap buck's going after that one we're going to grab that guy what do we got to get on this large mouth bass bigger than four pounds <laughs> well i already got the I already got the big one done already. That's about more weight than six seven. So that one's gonna be I don't know where I'm gonna to have to go to do that again. I wonder where I caught that bass at. Probably Probably blue crab, I would imagine. Six pounder, almost seven pounder. It could have been Quanchkin though. Quanchkin's got big bass in it, so do those Everglades. I caught a nice big bass at the heron on, on that tube bait. I'll tell you that, that, that worked pretty good over there. All right, trophy trout. What what do we get for that guy? Trophy bullet spinner, all right, that seems logic there. And, oh, we already got three of them done, Buck. We only got to go to Falcon to finish that one up. All right. Oh, there's another ad here on the trophy trout. St. Croix brown trout, white moose splake, all right. Going after some big boys there. Better step up your game, Buck. Get a trophy rear pear shaped float for this guy. Oh, we uh, we just need an 11 pound gar, matron and minnows. All right, Everglades Florida gar, alligator gar. I picked up a gar, a couple of gars on minnows. I just didn't get an 11 pounder. I think the best biggest one I got in there. And by the way, we're gonna be fishing. Maybe, maybe I'll complete this mission. I better be careful. This one, stay away from the gar. We're going to go to, that's where we're headed <clears throat> after here, 8 o'clock, fellas. We're going down in the Heron. <clears throat> nice little waterway there. <clears throat> I had so much fun, and that's basically where the next, where I'm going to start the next, uh, the pike hunt, too. We're going after that redfin pickerel there in the Heron, so I'm going to start there. I just left there, but... Uh, we'll go back at 8 o'clock. We're going to fish in the Heron, so I hope a lot of you guys can come come fish with us for a couple of, a couple of minutes at least. We're going to be down there, and uh, I'll be floating around, walking around. Just I love to fish down there, and the Heron is really great. It's nice and peaceful. I like the tranquility of that place. That's one of my favorite. When I get up early on a Sunday morning, I like to, not that Buck gets up very early. You know, 10 o'clock is pretty early for me. But I like to have my coffee and walk around there. And, and Weezy Mouse, she likes it. She's still on here, too. I think, ah, oh, honey. She likes fishing there. Maybe I can talk her into coming along. But oh, the, the CMA Awards are on tonight. So we won't be we won't be blessed with Weezy Mouse's presence in the heron. I don't think so, anyway. Stomp on the ceiling if you love me, honey. <laughs> All right, so that's where we're headed. We're going to go to the Heron. That's where we're fishing tonight. We're going to go down there, and I'm going to... That place, if you guys are having a, having trouble catching the red-eared sunfish, um, this, this, bay, this place is loaded with them and big ones. So um, I'm going to try to show you guys at 8 o'clock here. We're, we're going to float around, and I'm going to show you some spots. You know, this is one of my favorite places I like to fish. So I, I know a lot of good spots over here. And you probably, oh, you guys do too. If you like the heron and you fished it. Um, there, there, There's a lot of good fish here in the heron. Now, in the heron, let's take a look at what they've got here. The heron's got a total of 31, uh, 13 different species of fish over in the heron. And out of them 13 species, there's 31 different fish. So, you know, you got your common, your trophy, your unis that are in there. So... The, they rank about in the middle. They're not, you know, it's for 13 fish. Um, our largest waterways have 24 different fish in them, and there, there's a tie for the three largest ones. That would be um, Octuba, Blue Crab, and Amazon. I'll have 24 species. Now, Amazon, of course, though, has the most that you got to catch. So out of those 24 different fish, they actually have 71 different fish that we got to grab. If you're grabbing... And I know Micah likes to do that, catch all the, 
I'm doing there to do the bass challenge. Oh, very good. Very good. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I might get in that bass challenge again this year now that I know how the damn tournaments work. <laughs> Maybe I ought to do a video on that. I don't know if anybody else ever did that, but that was pretty dumb. I fished the whole damn tournament and thought I was in it, and I never pushed the join button. I just thought that that meant join, that I was there. So I thought I was doing it. <laughs> but I wasn't doing it at all. So we didn't do too bad on that one. I might go back there. I, I got a nice bass spot, nice bass hole down there in Bonskin. All right, guys. So that's what we're doing. We talked about all these different casting spoons, and you know, these casting spoons are good on every water well. You get any type of predator fish, and you're going to be, you're going to be very successful using this lure. Um, the, you know, like the African pike and down there in, in the South American waters. They they all hit on this lure. And you know, you just and it's why it's good to you know, not just have a quarter ounce one to throw them, but if you've got, if you've got yourself, um, the river spear here, if you've got this weapon, th this is a sweet little weapon. However, you get no XP on these little rivers with this stick uh, <laughs> because it's 57 pound and, uh, I'm catching bass, you know, four, four, four pound, three pound bass on this thing. I mean, there ain't much of a fight. You're just yanking them in. Um, it's, uh, yeah, for these smaller waterways, this, this pole is definitely overkill. And you get no XP when you catch the fish with this stick. But it's one of them, if you just need to catch fish and you're in a hurry, man, it's a sweet little weapon to have. I, I love it. I take it with me everywhere just because of its versatility. And I can have a nice strong pole and throw a little gear on it. And I like that about it. So we, we take that quite a bit with us. Um, what else did I have here? Oh yeah, my Omni float. That was that's a good stick there too. Um, we probably won't be doing. Uh, these are all good sticks for the heron. I guess I'll just keep all my weapons the same. Actually, when we go at eight o'clock, I think I'll do that. Yeah, we don't need to change much up. You get rid of this. Too. Well, I might fish a little bit with this tube bait here thing, but you can check out my video there with that. That was a whole different technique here, and it's it's a little different than the way you fish this lure in in real life. Um, it's more I fish it more of a drop, a lift and drop in real life. Um, I was fishing it that way here, and I did get I did get, but I do I do kind of all the retrieves. I'll, I'll I, I my retrieve is a combination of a lift and drop or. or uh, stop and go a little twitching here and there depends on what the contour or the bottom is giving me um you know if it's if i need to pull her quick to bring her up over a little bit of a bank that i'm coming up the bottom on and of course i'll go you know i'll get off the twitching and the lift and drop and, and go with a stop and go but it, you know again it just comes from fishing the water a lot knowing knowing your bottom contour of how you and every every cast should be that way you just kind of feel it as it's coming in see what the lure is doing for you and you work it accordingly that way all right guys well what time is it over there my obs is covering my clock up i think we're getting pretty closer i better start thinking about rounding it up let me go back through my notes here make sure i talked about everything i wanted to talk to you guys about yep 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 we talked we covered all that i think we did we covered it pretty thorough about these casting spoons so there shouldn't be any more questions about those guys all right like i said tonight we're going we're going down in the heron and we'll do a little fishing down there tonight we'll have a lot of fun down there and we'll grab up i caught a hundred now for the heron i was down there i caught a hundred and what was it? 142 fish. I got 160 pounds. These are all, you know, I have a couple of gar in there, a couple of bass, but mostly the pan fish. I got a uni, that uni red here. I finally picked him up, Micah, so I got him off the list. I, he, 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 and you know what, guys? They In, in this game, I, I, I forget what mission it was, but there's one where you're doing the mission, they take you in the heron, and it's, it's a, I, don't, I forget what it is, but they actually take you to a spot 
and they put a circle out there in the water and you have to throw in. Well, that spot that they take you to is the hot spot in the heron. <laughs> if you can remember, and I'll take you over there at 8 o'clock. We'll go over there and fish that one out because it's just trophy after trophy, uni red ear, trophy white uh, crappie, trophy black crappie in that one little hole. And uh, we'll go hit that one. So if you guys don't know where that is, you will know after tonight. And you'll be able to load up there. Like I said, we did pretty good over there. We had a total of $12,000, 465 we made on that one day. Um, catch, some, catch some panfish. Like I said, a couple of bass here and there. I think I got maybe three long nose gar in there. You know, four to five pounders. Nothing big. But you can make some money down there. All right, guys. That's pretty much it for the bait shop here tonight. Remember, you can always get a hold of me. Where, where am I at here? Do your thing, Buck. Okay, let's go over here. We need to put that up there and then do that like that. There it is. There we go. You can always get a hold of me. That'd be Frumpy Buckle at Proton Mail, P R O T O N M A I L dot com. You can send me, send me an email. Stay in touch. Hit the Discord server. We're out there. If you're out there on Discord, look up Frumpy Buckles Lodge. We are the water buffaloes over there. We got some exciting stuff going on. We're going to have some new stuff, too, going on. We're going to do a little RPG gaming over there, I guess, on the Discord server here coming up. We got some boys that are pretty good at, at a certain parachute in game, and we're probably going to hammer some of that out. We'll, we'll hammer some of that out. Do a little, Do a little screaming of that. That's coming up soon on the on the on the lodge. So make sure you get in there. I'll talk to Connor. Make sure we've got some update invites so everybody can get in without a problem. And if you do have a problem, you know, hit me up on one of the platforms, either Xbox, uh, the Discord server, the email, any way you can hit me up. Right through Fishing Planet, you can always hit me up on the chat lines there. All right, guys, that's going to be it for tonight. We'll see you back in half an hour. We're going to head down to Nairn and we're going to do some fishing. Thanks for watching, and remember, never, ever give up the fight. We'll see you later.